Sports. Hello. Today we're going to speak about enhancing user experience with Amazon Elastic Cash as a session store. My name is Partha Ghosh. I'm a senior product manager in the in-memory databases group at AWS. I have with me Lakshmi Peri. She's a senior specialist solution architect in the in-memory databases group at AWS. Today, we're going to cover the following items. We will provide a brief introduction to Elastic Cash and some of the benefits it offers. We will go over how to enhance the user experience with Amazon Elastic Cash as a session store. And finally, we will show a live demo of implementing a session store with Amazon Elastic Cash for Redis. Why do we need to use a cache? The short answer is time is money. What do I mean by that? Users demand real-time performance, latency is not an option, and retrieving data from disk-based databases and applications is costly and slow. Workarounds such as specialized hardware, proprietary in-memory databases, and data reductions are expensive, have high lock-in, don't scale, and are difficult to manage. Cache relieves pressure from existing databases. It's very difficult and costly to keep increasing the performance of a disk-based database. You can tune, index, and apply every known performance optimization, but at some point you can no longer squeeze beta latency out of a disk-based database. Caching gives you high performance of in-memory databases, cost savings for read-heavy workloads, and enhanced pace of app innovation through flexible data structures. Modern applications need all three. And Elastic Cache efficiently adds value to traditional databases, data warehouses, and data lakes. Let's talk more about Elastic Cache and some of its key features and benefits. Amazon Elastic Cache is a fully managed service that makes it easy to deploy, operate, and scale an in-memory data store and cache in the cloud. The service improves the performance of web applications by allowing you to retrieve information from fast, managed, in-memory data stores instead of relying entirely on slower disk-based databases. What are some of the key benefits of Amazon Elastic Cache? To start with, extreme performance. Amazon Elastic Cache supports the most demanding applications requiring sub-millisecond response times. By utilizing an end-to-end -end optimized stack running on customer dedicated nodes, Amazon Elastic Cache provides you with secure, blazing fast performance. Secondly, it's easily scalable. Amazon Elastic Cache can scale out, scale in, and scale up to meet fluctuating application demands. Next, Amazon Elastic Cache supports two open source in-memory engines, Redis and Memcached. This enables compatibility with your existing tools and applications. And finally, it's a fully managed solution. You no longer need to perform management tasks such as hardware provisioning, software patching, setup, configuration, monitoring, failure recovery, and backups. Elastic Cache continuously monitors your clusters to keep your workloads up and running. Elastic Cache properties enable microsecond latency and high throughput performance for all sorts of online application use cases. Just about anything benefits from increased performance. Today, we are going to go through one such use case in detail. And for that, I'm going to hand it to my colleague Lakshmi who's going to walk us through the process of setting up a session store with Elastic Ash. Thank you, Partha. Hello, everyone. When you are building a travel application, a banking application, or a retail application, tracking user activity through sessions helps make user experience seamless. Common challenges we hear when building these applications 
are the speed of the application and the agility. If you're storing session data in the web server, responding to a given request may seem convenient as accessing the data incurs no network latencies. However, requests have to be routed carefully so that each user interacts with one server only. And if this server goes down, all the session data is gone as well. As, you, as the data you wish to track and update changes, it's ideal to have a versatile data structure store that can provide sub-millisecond response times. Let us see how you can enhance user experience with Amazon Elastic Cache as a session store. Elastic Cache is ideal for storing your session data, whether it is authentication tokens, travel preferences, or shopping cart across channels. It can provide fast access to your session data and flexibility on how you can store this data. Redis Engine stores data in memory in a key value format, and the value can be the data structures like strings, hashes, sets, sorted sets, or lists. A hash data structure can store multiple key value relationships for a user within a single object. So when something about the user has to be updated, you only modify a portion that changed and not the entire session data. All of this can be done to provide a unique personalized experience to customers. Session data needs low latency and is ephemeral in nature. So using an in-memory data store like Elastic Cache helps provide the same consistent session store to each of these servers with sub-millisecond response time. It's almost as if the data resides locally on each servers, but it's less than a millisecond away on network. I'll give you an example of why this is so important. Look at the two users connected to the server at the bottom. What do you think would happen to the session data for those users if the server went down? It will be lost. But using a distributed session store like Elastic Cache for Redis, the users connected to the bottom server won't lose their data if the server goes away. The load balancer simply reconnects to an available server. And the application retrieves this session data from Redis and you won't have any negative user experience. Let's review an architecture on how to build a fast session store. The applications are deployed in multiple availability zones. They can be microservices deployed using EKS, Lambda, or EC2 instances. We have the Elastic Cache cluster in the same VPC with another private subnet. Applications connect to the cluster through a configuration endpoint. This is a cluster mode enabled deployment, so ensure you're running a cluster aware client. In this Elastic Cache cluster, we have two primary shards in each of it with its own read replica. So this is a this deployed across availability zones helps you achieve the four nines uh, availability. It is configured with auto failover and auto recovery. So if any of the node goes down, the cluster can automatically uh, fail over from primary to replica, ensuring your availability. You can use S3 to store backups, monitor your instances with CloudWatch, and trigger notifications through SNS. When you're storing authentication tokens, security is critical, and you would want to encrypt your data in communication in transit and at rest for which you can implement it with KMS. So let's, let me show you a demo on how this can be implemented. This demo is written in Python and the Flask micro framework for web development. I have a pseudo retail application that allows you to log in, add items to cart, access session across browsers and log out. This is my IDE and I have my application deployed on EC2. I've used the Redis cluster library to connect to my Elastic Cache instances. Let me show you my Redis instance for in here.
I'm using Redis 7 and I chose Gravitate on three instances which were recently released and which deliver 28% increased throughput and 21% improved latency in comparison to the previous Graviton 2 instances. I have a two shard cluster which is a cluster mode enabled and it has two primaries and each of it has its own read replica. Now, when I go ahead and launch my application, it asks me to log in. So let me bring up the login screen. I put in a demo user that I want to use for this demo. So when I launch this application and then when I log in, the user is initiated, but if they don't exist and a hash object is created in redis i can now add multiple items that i want to buy to a cart so let me bring up my add to cart page so let me do that one more time all right so if i go back to my login page i would see the items that I have in my, that I want to purchase in my cart. And then what I'm taking track of the visits, number of visits that I have. So let me show you that how this is showed, stored in Redis. I mentioned this is a hash object. So let me just bring up. I access it with my key, which in this case would be the user colon demo user one. I see that this now has two items in my cart and this is my second visit. This is a hash data structure that I have. Now, let me go ahead and switch browsers so I can demonstrate the cross-channel experience and I'm in my Safari and then it prompts me for login again. I'm going to log in as a demo user one and this will bring up all my session information here. So this is my third visit and I have two more items in the cart. So at this point, now that I've I would go ahead and buy whatever items that I want to buy to go to the checkout page and finish my activity and then go ahead and log out. When I log out, this data, which is the hash information, is removed from Redis because it's ephemeral. I no longer need that information. So there is no hash information anymore. However, uh, there would be a scenario where you would want to, you have users that have some items in the cart that have logged out and you may want to keep track of those users and send them notifications, reminders, or use it from an analytics purposes. This is where the versatile data structure nature of Redis can help you. You would be able to use another data set called uh, set data structure and it would be able to store the user's information that have expired. And you would actually be able to display this, use it for monitoring. So this was my previous demo user, and then also the existing ones, whoever have logged out, I add them to a set data structure. Now that we have seen how Elastic Cache as a session store can improve the overall application performance and user experience, let me leave you with a few resources to help you get started and be able to implement this. These are the resources that can help you learn more about the Elastic Cache service itself, key features, and we also have a dedicated on-demand learning path on our website that provides several hours of video to help you get up to speed with both Elastic Cache and the Redis Engine. Thank you so much for joining us today.